Mission Pantry. Tony Smith. Razor. Razor. And welcome back to the studio. And I'm joined in the studio again with Mr. Keelan Dooley and with a new man. With a new man with Jordy Shevlin on the on the left there. And uh, the lads who's are thanks for coming into the studio first of all. No problem. Thanks. It's great to see you again, Keelan always a bit of banter. Nice to meet you, Jordy. Nice and uh, and I know Jordy's mummy and daddy, and I know Kaylin's mummy and daddy. It's great getting people onto the banter. The glasses are coming on because it's hot in the studio. <laughs> I've no uh, hat to throw, and I'm not throwing my glasses because I, I did throw them before. Big shout outs. We get the shout outs done first of all, friends. Um, my man, Matthew T. Matzler. I hope you had good, a good night on Lake Erie, Matthew, and I hope everything's going well for you. Hello, Kareem Cohen, and uh, all the friends over in the US. Uh, who else now? We've got. Um, Philip J. Howard over in, in London, my mate, and this film's coming out, thank God for that. I'm going to be in it, The Middleman. So, also Joseph V. Sultana, his film's coming out, and I'm getting in that too, and it's going to be Reaper Shadow. So, a big shout out to everybody all around the world, all around the locality here, and tell you what, lads, let's start the band the show off with a bit of music. That's grand. He's up for it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Let the fun begin, lads. Evergreen, the soul arc and metaphor of the word. Well, it's a country boy named Johnny B. Good. He never ever let her read or write so well. But he can play the guitar, the sax, ring, and the bell. Go, 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 Johnny, go, 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 Johnny B. Good. He used to carry his guitar in a gunny sack And sit beneath the tree by the big road track The engine is to see him sitting in the shade He's running to the rhythm that the driver's made The people passing by, they would stop and say Oh my, you know the little country boy you play Go, go! Go, Johnny, go, go, go! Go, Johnny, go, go, go! Johnny, go! Go, Johnny, go, go, go! Go, Johnny, go, go, go! Johnny, be good. Go, 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 Johnny, go, 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 and Johnny be good. Yeah, Razor, lads, Razor. Well done, well done. That's especially for everybody who's tuned in to the Banter Show. So, what's the crack there now? We'll start off with. I'll tell you what, we'll start off with a new man here for a change, right? <laughs> We're going to give Jordy a shot, and um, big hello to your dad. <laughs> big Corgi, a Razor Corgi, good old friend of mine. So, <coughs> big influences, give us your influences in music now. Uh, influences, sure, would start like, well, obviously like Hendrix and like, you know, ZZ Top, Thin Lizzy, that'd be a big influence to Lizzy now. So you're a big Thin Lizzy fan? A big Thin Lizzy fan, yeah. All Thin Lizzy fans are welcome <laughs> on the Panther Show. So I'm part of the Lizzy family myself, I know them, I knew them all and went there. Uh, with great fun over the years with some of them, you know, Eric and, and Scott and that there, so... And uh, hope, hopefully some of these days get you guys onto the Panther show. The next time, Eric, you're about, definitely want you in, you know? <laughs> so, uh, Lizzie but was a big influence I, on you. Yeah, Lizzie and, like, Jimi Hendrix and stuff, like, it was just all the... 
all the greats, you know. So you like all the real good guitar, yeah. the, the great guitars then, you know. Were you listening to that at an early age? Yeah, very much so, yeah. Because um, your parents are pretty cool. Your parents would like a bit of, a bit of decent music yeah. about the house, wouldn't they? Sure, my dad, he would, uh, he would stick on like meatloaf and like Iron Maiden and stuff and like he used to stick on Lizzie as well, so I think your, early years. Like, I think your dad would make a great Irish meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Irish version of not they? He's got, yeah. Corgi, got we'll have to get you on the Bonda show. <laughs> but uh, but uh, as I say, they do, because the, 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 back in the day, when we were all growing up, there was nothing else, only music, you yeah. know? And this is why music's a big part of my life, and your parents, and, you know, to, to have a good day, you would have to hear music yeah. at some part of the day, just to brighten the day for you, you know? So you've obviously got to, been listening to all the cool stuff then over the years, were you? Yeah, just all... All the like uh, clapping and stuff like so. Got into it and then once I got into it, more artists and all kept coming out and then picked up the drums and then picked up the guitar and then just went from there. So you started off with the drums? Yeah, that mm. was my first. And what age were you when you started up then? It was about 12, about first year. Wow. And then drums, I, I liked it like, but then I found the guitar and then it was just like, oh, it's more my thing maybe. But I still play, like I still do play drums and stuff like so. Do you? But and, and, well, you know, it's a good thing too because yeah. then you've got the timing for all music, haven't exactly. you? Exactly. Once you do the drums, you get the rhythm for the guitar then. So. And and as you know, the 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 drums work with the bass. The bass work with the drums. Yeah. Timing wise, not to keep the beat. It's it, it's a good. So you've got your timing right for a start. Then that's you're yeah. off to a good start, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, once you have the timing right, yeah. you're, you're you're flying. And uh, so then, what age were you when you picked up the guitar then? I was about 13, about 13, maybe near 14, and then I started that, and it was just YouTube, basically. Just Tabs oh. and YouTube, I just like... And that's how you learn, so you're self-taught, really? Yeah. Same, what about you, Keelan? Were you taking any lessons? Uh, I was with Beefy Doran. That's right, Beefy. There's an old man who's joking me. Beefy, I want you and your dad into the Panther show. Yeah, his dad's a great, great player, too. Yeah. Good, good artist, great man with his hands, yeah. you know, very creative. Um, so Beefy's a good man, he'd be a good man at teaching, he's a chilled out guy too, isn't he? He is, he's very chilled out. Yeah, he doesn't let many things annoy him, does he? Alright, well, when I come in, not knowing <laughs> what, I, what he like, taught me last week, got a bit annoyed then, but... <laughs> <laughs> he would threaten you with a, with a boot up the, the backside, uh, like, wouldn't he? <laughs> Yeah, uh, he's a, but he's 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 in his own right. He's fantastic player. Yeah. He really is. And uh, I seen great pictures from recently. In PJ O'Hare's down in Carnyford and had Beefy up on the table, up on the table. Beefy, big razor for up on the table, gold crackers, and him wearing a suit. You know, <laughs> this is this this is what I love about, especially musicians from in around this area. Yeah. To have that wee bit of eccentricity about them, you know. Uh, as I say, Beefy wearing a suit. Where would you get it? Down wearing a suit playing in County for the next thing he's up on the table, rocking <laughs> it out, you know. When the when the music just grabbed a hold of him, that was it. And I suppose it's the same with you guys then, is it? Yeah. yeah. Once you same. get vibed up and adrenaline and all, like especially when you're taking a solo, you just go mental like. Well, I have to say I met the guys on Hill Street and they were doing a bit of busking and the sound is fabulous. Thank you. You know, the sound Thanks, travels Stella. up the street for some reason. Yeah. You know, it, it's a good pitch you have there, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good, look. It must be, is it the acoustics of it, you know, I think it is. Um, I'm not too sure. It must be, like. Because it's just, sometimes you hear people busking and you can't hear them, like. Well, I know when you get to the far side of the cathedral, you can just hear you guys. Yeah. You know, and you can hear you possibly near the, the library. So that's a good distance. Yeah. And you, you know, your sound's travelling, it must be the acoustics of Hill Street or something, you know. Yeah. But uh, you're getting good enough attention to you, aren't you? Yeah, it's yeah, good. Turned a few heads as well, like, so that's always good. Like. Then probably after us, possibly go back out. <laughs> Maybe. Well, it's a beautiful day, why yeah. not? Yeah. Why not? And, and it's, at the end of the day, you guys are putting music on the streets. Yeah. You know, it, it's not the same as no music, you know. Yeah. Adds a bit of character to Nuri, so yeah, give them a shout. Throw in a couple of coins or even a note if you can afford it. Now, right, get <laughs> the boys, get the boys the recognition. Now, let's talk about um, Jordy. You were saying you're in a few different bands. Yeah, um, I'm in one uh, Harrison Tweed. Um, this they were they were going before before I joined uh, a few years. I think it was one or two years, and then it was last year they got me in um, doing bass. 
I am and th since since I joined the sound has changed like so there's that one we're like kind of like a three piece like kind of acoustic but then I've done drums f for it as well and then John plays the mandolin and um, oh. there's Chris on guitar singing harmonies and stuff so drums mandolin and guitar yeah weird instruments as well there's like floor toms in there and there's like uh, melodicas and any really uh, instrument you can get your hand of. That's pretty stuff, good. That, so. I like that. It's pretty cool. Like you can you check it out. Check us out on like Facebook and YouTube and stuff. And, and what do you call the band again? Harrison Tweed. Harrison Tweed. Check them out because I'll be checking you out later. <laughs> I'll be checking out. I want to hear some of this bad stuff. We just recorded uh, a new EP there, so we did just a couple of weeks ago, and then we're we're down playing at the Kilbrony, uh Youth Fest. Oh. So I handled a few out, like, so... It's all good, it's getting out there as well. Yeah, get know. one in here and we'll plug it in the Panther show. Definitely will. Definitely and will. if you want, bring the other two guys in with you sometime, you know. Yeah. Uh, as I say, you know what I'm all about. I'm all about music as well. Yeah. And promoting bands, artists, you know. Actors, I want actors from Dublin. Terry McMahon, you want you want a big screen in there in, in the Galway film, Flazo. Terry, you'd be good to get you up here. And, and all the other Dublin people and Cork and all, get up here and get into the Banter show, you know. Um, so that's, you're, you're a bit of a multitasker then. Yeah. In the, in the music front. Keel, you're a bit of a multitasker too. You're in the keys as well, aren't you? Yeah. So it's, it's great, the level, there's a lot, there's a high level of talent about this area, I have to say. And there always has been. Um, you're Thin Lizzy. Now, Thin Lizzy, there's a newry band called Taxi. And Thin Lizzy used to support Taxi. And Taxi are still going. So big shout out to Harry Cooney and Mickey Lockern and all the, all the boys there in Taxi. They're still on their top band. The Thin, Lizzie, Thin Lizzie used to look up to Taxi. And, and they used to say, wow, wish we could be as good as them boys. <laughs> so it's a funny old rock and roll mm. world out there, isn't it? And uh, I think Mickey Lockern, he lived with Phil Linnett for a while in Dublin. And for, for six months or maybe more, even maybe a couple of years, maybe, you know. I must get Mickey in and... Just to get the banter, you know, some really yeah. great stories, and I mean, you know, they were like just brothers, you know. So, uh, two bands, two different bands, but they were like bands of brothers back in the day, you know. Yeah. So it's an amazing history, isn't it? Yeah. Like you know, and there you go, you're a Thin Lizzy fan, and you didn't know there was people not too far away from where you were busking yeah. that used <laughs> to live with Phil and for a couple of years there, you know. And... Uh, some some really good stories. So Nuri's on the map musically, you know. And uh, so what about what? How did you guys then collaborate? Or uh, just well started out like busking. Yeah. Just what do you do like, in the day? You come down busking. Like, you come down busking and like all right, yeah. And then just went from there, really. Class. Yeah. Class. And I have to say, lovely rock and roll sound there, you know. And the only and I haven't got to hear you with the with the drum box. Yeah. You know, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. And what videos have you out there? None the yet. None yet. None yet. I was thinking I've less as well, maybe record a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely have to get some up. Like. Yeah. So, uh, uh, who's your biggest influences in back in the day, Keel? Uh, Led Zeppelin. Led Zepp. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Action. Um, <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Can't even I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. The Bonda show's just gone slightly crackers there for a second. You know yourself. <laughs> I'm joking. Like Led Zeppelin, raised from like um, to Ed Sheeran. Love Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Paul. A big shout out to Kevin Paul, celebrity tattoo artist over in England, and we're going to be in set with you, Kevin. So he tattoos Ed Sheeran. Believe it or not. Yeah. That's where Ed cool, gets like his tattoos done, and uh, he's a cool man. So. Uh, who else? Tom Begley. I have to get. I have so many shoutouts to give. I should have a shout out show and then a banter <laughs> show. You know. So shout out to everybody out there. Hello, Razor, and hope you're all doing well. It's hot in the studio today, lads, isn't it? I'm boiling. Yeah, you, boiling. you're boiling. Yeah. And uh, you, you're you're a bit in the tired side today, Keel, are you? Not really. Um, we partying. That was it for a few. Quiet One or two. Last night. Yeah. A, f a few sociables. Yeah, a few. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them this when you're going out. Do you ever bring the guitars out with you? Uh, uh, if you're going out for a drink or whatever? I don't trust myself. You don't? Nope. I have done once, like, um, but then, like, again, like, you get the odd drunk guy coming, oh, let me play a guitar, let me play a guitar, and you're like, uh, nah. Uh, but, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really 
trusted, like. Yeah. Because then, you know, like you might get someone like well, probably like break something, but they didn't mean to, like so. But too late, it's done. It's broke. You can't. Exactly. You know. No, and. Uh, Taylor, lovely, lovely guitar there, and I have to say that you know quality guitar. You have the Martin here and the Taylor there, and that just brings me to something. I have to shout out to Jerry Morgan, Newry drummer, Razor Jerry. Had him in the studio, and the Hudson Taylor band. So they're over in England down there. They're jamming away all over the place. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to the Hudson Taylor band. So Razor lads, I hope you're all well. They're the brilliant band. Yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. Yeah, longitude on Friday was it? That's oh, right. Oh yeah. Longitude. yeah. Absolutely, and they invited me up to their up to the gig in Belfast last just the end of last year. They're a brilliant gig, and thanks for the invite, lads. And I can't wait. It wasn't even it was the start of this year. I have to hook up with you again, lads. You know, get maybe even banter. Well, that's <laughs> it. You know, and as I say, I might you know hopefully might even hook up with you in London. You know, get them in the band the show in London when I started. You know, yeah. So they are their top lads. You know, and they're gentlemen. I they met are. the two of them and. Uh, Class crack, you know, they really are. So, I want to raise my glass to the Hudson Taylor band and Jerry Morgan. <laughs> Jerry's cra class crack too, Newry man, as I say. He, he's the only man that came into the band the show completely invisible. As you can see, the screen, and he pulled a big green curtain over him, and then he, all you could see was his head. It was hilarious, you know, <laughs> with great crack. So, Jerry, you made the biggest entrance on the band the show, I have to say. So, you know the boy. The, the, they've got some lovely music out, some lovely songs, a lot of acoustic st stuff too. Yeah. Um, and the boys, they're, they're Harry and Alfie. They were buskers in Dublin. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, Grafton Street. In Grafton Street, you know, and and by God, they can play. Them yeah. boys can play. They're great. You know, they are a terrific band. Just you know, so there's a good hope for you, lads, isn't there? Yeah. Singer songwriter, you never know. You never know. You could be in the big festival circuit next year. <laughs> Who's who's you know who's not to say like yeah. you know at the end of the day, and yeah. uh, the good thing is, he's have the confidence, haven't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. The bags of confidence coming out of this dude here, isn't it? I mean, the first time you asked me about coming on to the band the show, I thought you know something that lad's got the confidence to face anything, <laughs> and he has, he has, you know, and you, I suppose you need it. Yeah. You need a load of confidence to be standing in Hill Street, boss, and I yeah. tell you that, it's not for the the faint-hearted, is it? No. You know, do, do you ever get nervous? I used to, but then I'm just like, you know, What's the, the walk of past, so if anyone says anything, you know, it's quick, it's correct, uh, it's, I can't even find a word now, it's corrective criticism, like, so. Constructive criticism. Constructive, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you build on the criticism, no, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty good, um, yeah. So you, you know what I mean, you start, life's for living, don't be, don't, pe people either like you or they don't like exactly. you, so don't be annoyed. By anything, you know. Sure, I mean, someone goes down and goes, uh, moving on like swiftly. It's only one person. The rest makes, you know. Yeah. What about electric guitars now? That you, you said, you know, have you? Yeah. Um, that's right. Start out in electric, and then switch to acoustic. But I'm in another band, Thirty Nine Steps. So that's all electric and stuff. So I get it's good the way I get to play electric and acoustic. Very it's good. Cool, really. Very very good. Uh, just now that we mentioned guitars, here's my cousin. Here's my cousin here, Johnny Starr. Now, Johnny done the CD in uh, in memory of his son, Brian, that sadly passed away last year. So it's available for the Whale and Carlins, but get a look at that Les Paul on it. There's a Les Paul custom there, and it's something else. If you like your guitars, have a look at that bad boy there. Is Carlins not closing? Oh, it is closing, crazy. yeah. That's mad. You know, so maybe you can get the... Somebody from Carlin's to come in here and, and give us a bit of banter and, and hopefully you see we can get the shop cleared out for you, you know? See that? Wicked guitar, man. Isn't it? It's class. And if you've seen the sparkles of that thing, it's, it's, it's awesome. So Johnny Starr, hope you're well, cousin, and uh, we'll try and get the people to come in and get their CD, your Johnny Starr CD, and it's Rich Man's Garden in memory of a son, Brian, and there's ten tracks on it. So it's, it's a very well put together bit of music and it's country, Irish country so all the big Irish country fans out there get on to Johnny Starr's CD so lads, have you used any CDs out? Uh, well you have one well one with Harrison Tweed, well a couple with Harrison Tweed that's about it but none with us just yet no I'm, my solo one it's pending sort it's of. pending, I like yeah. that yeah but at least you're working away at it you know, yeah. and, you know every day is another 
you can do another little bit, another little bit. I suppose the biggest thing to do is is the editing, really, isn't it? Yeah. You know, to nail it down right, and and then just to get in a good studio, wasn't it? Yeah. That's it as well. That's then. About you know, uh, have you got many studios or anything like that? Or I've got one in my shed, but I yeah. use it for partying purposes. <laughs> Not really that. Like more stick up with video on Facebook, bored. But I haven't done it one in ages. Like just don't have the time. You don't have the time, yeah. yeah. But then you're not. At, it's the good weather has a lot to do with it. You yeah. do these things when it's raining, don't you? Exactly. Yeah. That's how the Irish people work. You know, anything to be done, the studio work, anything, any creative, any writing, any whatever, you get it done when the rain's going, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Not unless you can provide, get somebody to provide some drinks and you can do it outdoors then. That's even a better yeah. one, isn't it, the good weather? I uh, see, before gigs. It used to be grand, one or two pounds. Now it just... <laughs> Paralytic, like, go on <laughs> Now you're a rocker then, is that what you're trying to say? No, it's just a... Uh, complete rock and roller. Just the Dutch courage, really. Do, do, do you actually need to put before a big gig, like... Yeah. You would need just to settle your nerves and to... Yeah. And to get that... To, to get that edge away from you. Mm. And then you can go on with a big smile in the face. And it's the very first one you do, is it? That's the ice broke then. Yeah, it's the yeah. very first song and then you're just... Playing sailing after that. Yeah. What about now? Every band dreads it, and er anybody who gets up on a stage, not doesn't have to be a band, any performer at all, they dread the heckler. Did you ever get the heckler? Anybody heckling you or shouting or? Aye, few well, my, times. My mate was <laughs> heckling me the other night. <laughs> was he drunk? Was he? <laughs> That's why he was heckling you then, was he? Probably. Yeah. The old Dutch courage flying and shouting and roaring, but it's it's. Um, one of the best heckler sort of writers is Sean Jones, the Californian guitar player. And Sean, I said it, I had Sean on the band the show there, and terrific. And Sean just started singing. There was boys shouting and play this, play that. And Sean just started, you're a, with a W. You're a, uh, and he just kept it going. And then you could see your boy putting the head down, you know, when he realised that everybody was. And Sean never backed down, kept on singing. And he added words to, if you want to go out, say, no problem. You know what was going on like this? And you could see the heckler just head down and kind of reverse out to the bar. You know, even though he was mangled, he kind of copped on then, yeah. you know. But that's how to handle hecklers, you know. Go to the Sean Jones School of Anti-Heckling. Now, right, Sean. So Sean and Thomas Lieb, I forget the other guy, they're, they're three guitar greats on tour at the moment. And I wish you all the best, lads, you know. So what's new then in the, in the what's coming off for you guys then? Few gigs, yeah. Rosie O'Grady's on Thursday night. Is it? Is it downstairs or upstairs? Is there? Is it just a downstairs bar? Yeah, Rosie's? it's just a downstairs bar. Mm. I don't know. I just be there for half eight or something. Oh, very good. So, did you check it out already? The stage and I don't know if there is a stage. I think it'll just be like just a right with stick. Just a corner. The corner. <laughs> <laughs> so the corner is always good. Yeah. The corner acoustics, it's a good spot, you know, right? get yeah. at least they're blasting out, you know, from the corner, so everybody gets it. Yeah, and you're, you're not going to be holding back. You you don't hold back when you're on stage, do you? As in, you know, you get up, you like to perform, don't you? Yeah. And there's there's no posse footing around. You just get in and get your gig done, don't you? Go in, yeah. get it done. Stay out. That's it. Because yeah. I mean, you you can see the enjoyment on the. T when you're walking past these two guys in Hill Street and you can see the enjoyment on your face, you just love it. You just love it. Yeah. I do love it. Like. Yeah. And so, uh, how long are you playing all together now, Jordy? Um, all together, about. Uh, let me see. About eight or nine years. Very good. Very good. And long. What about you? You're in around the same, are you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, you you know, I have to say, you really are good. And is there any way we can hear a, a, a couple of tunes then, or a tune? Want to hear? If it's about time we're getting another tune, eh, these lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. Don't play. Bar guitar or something. Bar guitar. Have you just got a name for the for the duo? Uh, no name, no. Uh, no name, just yeah. I think you should name us. What do you think, friends? Send your answers in a postcard to The Razor Show. <laughs> yeah, I'm both floating on the 
sat by me somewhere between heaven and the tall pine trees All oh, playing, I'm missing you It gets up banging all through the night It felt pretty fine and I felt alright As good as one for the price of two Been a long time gone Since the truth be told Yet I've seen my own Hey, cut it slow Oh, and save my soul With a bar guitar and a honky-tonk crowd Take it low, put me on a train No matter how I go, I'll even walk through the rain South Lane, I'm missing you When the sky is high and the moon is low I find some country tunes playing on the radio And I know that I'm there Lord, I know I'm there Been a long time gone Since the truth be told Yet I've seen my home Hey, cut it slow Oh, save my soul With a bar guitar and a honky-tonk crowd I'm gown since the truth be told yet I've seen my home hey cut it slow won't save my soul with a bar guitar and a honky song that was class that was fantastic well done lads that was fabulous even our studio manager, he's clapping, he loves it, it's great. Good man, Sean, thanks for the joining in the old round of applause, that was brilliant. Uh, great sound there, lads, it's really, you know, I think it's about time there was a, a few a few videos coming out now, or, you know, something. Definitely. Yeah, I'd have to, look. Like. Time to rock it off to this, after been on the banter show and doing this, yeah, it's time to get the tunes going. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to hear, you know, I'd love to hear maybe a three-piece, you know, something with drums. But you do that anyway, because you have yeah, the drum box. We do that anyway, yeah. Yeah. There's a great sound out of the drum box too. They're amazing, aren't they? Oh, they're, 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 they're classic. Is that, is that the PK one, is it? Um, no, that's a uh, uh, guy down in Belfast makes him. But in the match, it's and uh, that's just classic. You just go in, you can sit there and get the sound that you want. like. And uh, I think it's Raw or Rogue or something. I don't know, it's just some dude in Belfast makes it, so... Ray or something? Yeah. It's because there's, there's, there's another guy in Lurgan makes them, and I met a couple of buskers, and they come in here, I think it was in around Christmas time, and it was great, great sound out of them, didn't they? They're class. They really are. And th the sound carries out of them well, yeah. doesn't it? You know, Especially it, busking and stuff, like the sound really just... Boof. It, for such a small a box, yeah. it's hard to believe there's a big, a big bassy floor tom coming yeah. out of that box, isn't it? It's classy. You know, it seems you're lugging a big floor tom about, doesn't it? Does, it does. Yeah, but it's um, it's great to see the likes of you out in the street, you know, brightening up Hill Street, and I think even during the morning council should go down and throw a couple of quid into the bag for you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Try and get these guys up and running. What about, um, have you been in the studio together? Not yet, not yet but sure. we're both at Tech, so that's a f basically a free studio, so... Once we get oh, in this year. What do you yeah. use at music in, in the tech? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess the Southern Regional College in Armagh. In Armagh? Yeah. A big, oh, yes, I was there before. My daughter was there many, a couple of years ago. Um, I know exactly where it is. I was there. A, a pretty good setup, isn't it? Yeah, it's got all new equipment in now and stuff like that. Everything so. you need. There's a studio right at our disposal, like so. Free as well. So, get a couple of stuff recorded, hopefully. And oh, yeah. Well, use stuff. it, that's what I, we know. Use your resources, they're there for you. And especially when it's free, because when, exactly. it, when it comes to the time that you have to pay to go into the studio, I tell like 500 you'll be grand, kicking yourself, so. you'll be saying, and we had all that free time, we didn't use it. It's when you really get up and running, and because I've been in studios, and I've been in top quality, top class studios, and they're frightening to say the least. Mm. This, is, this is when you will make mistakes, because when you're paying for it, yeah. Studio proper studios. I mean, you're you're paying for the seconds. Every second you're paying for that. It's the minute you come through that door, you have to pay. Uh, as, a, as a good friend of mine too over in London. Big shout out to Trevor F. Charlton and Trek Records. I was in his studio, and the minute you come through that door, the minute you walk through that door, you're, you're you you have to pay to come through that door. But Jeez. if you want the quality, yeah. if you want your music to sound. You know, he'll tweak everything. He does. He knows what he's doing. Same as all the all the studio managers and sound engineers. You know, um, Declan Leg and all these guys know what they're doing. You know, they really do, and they're they're on top of their game. But they will get you the sound that you want. You know, that's why you have to pay for it. Yeah. So get in, see that free studio. Definitely. Bit of good advice. Get in and use it, and you know, use it the way that you want to use it. Do a bit of experiment and get the get the heavy rock out there too. You should be in a bit of heavy rock then, the two years, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah. 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 Leaving's the evening up, doesn't it? Oh, it really does. Like, <laughs> that bit's sticking on a bit of DC or something and a wee beer, like, you know? Yeah. What about, um, what about the big Garth Briggs controversy? That's right. I didn't even know it was, like, got it. thing. I thought he was doing two shows and punch it down. says I'm got it. <laughs> and he actually kept his ray grin. I don't know how you done. You done that well. That's your acting skills for you there. Uh, yeah, I'm good at listening about it. I'm sick listening about uh, it. You know, Gareth Brooks, come into the banter show. <laughs> Why didn't you come into the banter show? Forget about going on your knees down to the the politicians at Dublin. Get into the banter show. See can I get you a couple of gigs? Probably will be able to get you a couple of gigs. You know, <laughs> get it all sorted out for you. So you don't have to come crawling on your knees. Just walk on through the door, and I'll even give you a banter band out of it, Gareth. So check that one out. So that's it, lads. What do you think about that? Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, and big shout out to uh, Aiken Promotions because they're. It was lovely to meet you down here before, Michael. So big shout out to everybody in Aiken Promotions. They're hard, hard grafters up there, and they do they do a lot, lot of good music for the people of Ireland. That's the way I look at it, you know. Yeah. They put on the big gig. So big shout out to everybody in Aiken Promotions, and uh, Jake Walsh, Jake Walsh Promotions as well. Big shout out to everybody there. Um, Get in touch with Jake, I haven't heard of you in a while. So all the all the musicians all around the place and you're all welcome in the band of show. So come in here, I want a bit of get a but get a bit of crack out of them, you know. So tonight lads, what's happening with you, Stuart? Tonight. But chill maybe a bit of music in Hill Street, is there? Uh, yeah, we might get back out there maybe. Um yeah. it's still bright and it's warm. Still bright, still time. Kayla's got the go. shorts on, <laughs> tattoos out, no bother. You know. But it's that's the way the things are. Get out yeah. and you have nothing to hide, have you? No. No, get that music going then. That's the way I want to. want to hear the music, isn't that it, Sean? You know, Sean loves his music too, so. <laughs> and it's great to have a man with me down the studio that appreciates good music, you know? Yeah. So, what do you think, lads? One for the road? Yeah. Yeah. Your wee mashup. Oh, yeah. Your mashup. We're going to get a mashup here. We're going to jump in the box. Yeah. You want this table out of the road, Jordy? Yeah. All right. Nah, it's, it's cool enough, yeah. I think I played this one on here before, actually. You've played of quite a few on here. Yeah. This is like your own studio. It's getting like your own <laughs> studio here. Yeah. <laughs> and anybody watching, he's, it's not that he's hiding stuff in the drum box. He's just taking it out so we can make a clear sound. Alright, Jordy. Yeah. Great sound, isn't it? You get that sound, yeah? Ready? Sweet 
gone to Ennis, but my dumbest swear to heart the lost But Gaddy is nervous, I'm the service he's gone from Ray John Bonds But he keeps on forgetting when he rolls down the road Crowd goes so loud, he opens his mouth, but the words won't come out Choking now, everybody's choking how the clock's run out Time's up for the plot, Sam back to reality Oh, he goes grand, but he oh, he goes grand The joke's so mad, but he won't give up that as he knows he won't have me No, he goes back to small, but oh, not to me Back to the left, get yo, the soul wraps to you better go capture this moment You better lose yourself in the music The moment you want it, you better never let it go Only get one shot to knock, it's a chance to go Cause opportunity comes, it's a lifetime You better lose yourself in the music The moment you want it, you better never let it go Only get one shot to knock, it's a chance to go Cause opportunity comes, it's a lifetime The only love is all maroon The gluey feathers on the floor the sky's the moon, she's the moon She's walking on the moon She's walking on Here come old flat top and come Grooving on slowly He got to it to our boss He won't roll it, roll it He got it down to his knees He got to be a joker Cause he's so hard to please Snap back to reality, oh, he goes gravity, oh, he goes round The joke is so mad, but he won't give up that As he knows he won't have to, he knows he goes back to his home But home rounds me, back to the lab again, yo, this old rhapsody You better go capture this moment You better lose yourself in the news at the moment you want it You better never let it go Only get one shot to knock, there's a chance to go Cause opportunity comes into a lifetime You better lose yourself in the news at the moment you want it You better never let it go only get one shot and not miss a chance to go Cause opportunity comes to a lifetime Yeah, Ranger! That's fantastic <laughs> Brilliant, Thank you. brilliant, enjoyed that Some sound in that box, and, and the, the, that works the, That works absolutely Terrific old, enjoy that Thank you, you know, very much Great to liven up the afternoon here in the Panther Show for all our friends Well listen lads, it's been eventful as always Oh, oh. That's oh, grand, sir. There you go. It's used to a big heel, yeah, is it? it is. <laughs> it's getting bashed up every m The more I see it, there's an extra mark or two on it, then. <laughs> but just rock and roll, lads, isn't it? That's the way yeah. it goes, you know. So, um, I have to say, I really enjoyed that today. I'll, I'll, we've got a bit of music today, Sean, isn't it? Great. Great to get the music in the, on the Panther show. We love it. Free know. gig. Oh, free gig. <laughs> yeah. So, any more free giggers out there? Get in here. We want to hear your music. I love it. She so couldn't beat it. Yeah. But, um, any, have you any shout outs do you want to do there? Any friends around the world? Uh, I shout out to Holly. Shout out to Holly. <laughs> See, um, recently, about four months, Jordy was diagnosed with a girlfriend. <laughs> and it hasn't been the same since. Right, right. Did he see any doctors or anything about it? I don't know, have you? I think, I think you have to go and see the Rory Gallagher doctor. Oh, and Rory say, Gallagher. You know, what do you call it? Bullfrog blues. That's what you've got, the Bullfrog Blues. So Jordy's got the Bullfrog Blues. Go home and put on Rory Gallagher, Bullfrog Blues. I know him, I know him. You know, you know, know that tune, don't you? I know him, I do. <laughs> it's Rory all good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Um, another Irish legend. The music fabulous, isn't it? Unreal game. Like. Yeah. It was great even to watch him. I have all his DVDs, just great. This was the other night. It was, uh, is 74 Irish tour. Was in oh, class. This game on Irish. Absolutely classic. Class. Groovy. And um, so that's basically it, lads. It's, it's, it's too hot in here, Sean, isn't it? So tell you what it is, friends. It was great to have these guys on. I really, Jordy, appreciate you coming in, very much. in the studio. And you, How and you, you Kaylin. And it's great. And you're always welcome into the Banta Show. All musicians who want to hear more music on the Banta Show. So don't forget if you have an event you want plugged. If you have film coming up, you want plugged anything, get in here, get in touch with me. You'll get me on the social media sites. And uh, basically, lads, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. Get ready. From me, Jordy, and Kaylin, friends, we're out of here. Razor! Razor. <laughs> Destination Banker.